Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today we're taking a look at the new StarCraft Remaster and how it runs with top of the line hardware. Today we're using a GTX 1080 Ti with an i7-6700K processor and 16GB of RAM. We're going to run the game with an unlocked frame rate, which seems to only max out at 300 FPS even if you disable vertical sync. And all the graphic settings are going to be cranked up to maximize quality. StarCraft isn't necessarily a hard game to run, and this remaster doesn't really challenge our hardware in any way. The quality has been increased only slightly over the original game, with the inclusion of a higher resolution and full widescreen support. Textures seem to have received some nice improvements, but the models are still very much flat 2D sprites with basic animations, and the original style of the 1998 classic remains mostly intact here. I wasn't able to capture crazy intense scenes simply because I haven't played an RTS in years and I kept dying, but after 3 minutes you can start to see some significant action as the Zerg predictably rush in and wreak havoc on all my poor workers. The framerate manages to stay at a solid 300 frames per second and the game performs great, but the animations appear to still be locked at 30 FPS, which is a bit disappointing to say the least. I was hoping this remaster would have featured some smoother animations, but again, this remaster appears to be preserving the original aesthetic as much as possible, so diehard fans should be pleased. And that's all there really is to say about this one. I wanted to see how this performed, and as predicted, my configuration completely ate through this game like it was nothing. It's $15 on Blizzard's Battle.net client if you're feeling nostalgic, and it comes with the expansion pack as well. If you've never played the original StarCraft, this is easily the best way to play it. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see running on my current configuration, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know, and I will see you all next time.